Manish, I think uh, you have some story about adware, like uh, basically malicious apps in the Google Play. That's right. Checkpoint uh, recently wrote a blog post about some activity that they're calling lights out. Basically, there's about 22 malicious apps on the Google Play Store that uh, you know they've been downloaded somewhere like between 1.5 and 7.5 million downloads. So what they do is they serve up ads to the user, and it's pretty terrible because uh, in some cases it's it's forcing the user to click on an ad before they're able to answer a phone call. Okay. So the ads are triggered by a lot of different events. Connect to Wi-Fi, it'll po an ad will pop up. You end a call, the ad will pop up, and mm -hmm. some other things like you plug it into a charger, an ad will pop up. So I think the real issue with this app is that they're utility apps, so it's like uh, basically flashlight apps. Okay. So they they seem pretty harmless. So you know people tend to download them without thinking twice about it and they're on the official Google Play Store so you know you think they should, they should be okay however they're you know then they're getting served with all these ads and they it's constantly serving ads it's being called the uh, lights out because they're typically flashlight apps or other utility type apps it hides the icon mm -hmm. so you know the, the user doesn't even realize what's serving up these ads and even if there's an app that they think that's causing the ads and they try to delete that app you know, since the app is actually hidden, they haven't really done anything. There's no connection with the app and the ads that are being served, so they have no idea why these ads are uh, being okay. served up to them. But is there anything other than, you know, hiding the apps? Is there anything maliciousness associated with these apps? It's just uh, these apps it just seem to force the user to, uh, you know, look at, view the ads or click on the ads. It's okay. just for, for adware. Kind of a generating some money from... Right, they're okay. generating uh, income from the serving up the ads, basically. I've seen with with some apps that I install on, on my devices where they do pop up ads, but then they say, well, if you want the ads to go away, pay a little extra and the ads will disappear. Is there anything like that? So the post actually mentioned that one user uh, actually said that they actually did pay for the app, but the ads never went away. So they got hit twice. Okay. They actually paid for the app and they're being served with all these ads. This is a tricky situation, I mean, most of the times. In this case, I think a few apps uh, were able to sneak into the official Play Store. It really puts the pressure on the actual end user to have to do more. We're constantly telling them to, you know, do the right thing, go to the right places and things like that. Well, <laughs> that's become difficult also. So typically you have to be very careful from the, the, uh, the, the stores that are not the official Google Play Store. But in this case, the ones from the official Google Play Store are also malicious. You really need to vet the apps, I guess, read the, uh, the reviews, the more recent reviews. You know, I, I think in this case it would be hard because these, these apps were downloaded millions of times. So I would not suspect that that was a malicious app. It's a good practice to kind of constantly back up your phone so that when you do have something malicious on your phone, you can wipe it and then just restore it from the backup but you also have to make sure that you're not restoring the malicious stuff with it. So you have, to con you have to really be aware of what you're backing up and when you're backing it up. It's always wise to get one app at a time instead of getting multiple apps at the same time. The reason being, you know, if something is malicious happening in this case, it's easier to revert back. Oh, you know, okay, this is the only one change from the previous time.